Okay, I made a video so I could show how you can clip out a void out of a terrain that we have out here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate it a little bit. I'm going to do, do a dynamic rotation, and I'll move this across here somewhere on the terrain and rotate it around. You can see you got all these uh, triangles out there that don't really belong. Okay, so what I've done is I'll go to the top of you and zoom into this area. I've created a microstation shape. Um, a complex shape. I, I kind of took the uh, Play Smart Line tool and went around and did not snap. I don't want to snap to any of these things. I want to get it real close. Or if you snap, make sure you're on the bottom element or not the top element when you do this. And, I, and I'll just throw just a complex uh, shape out there anyway, just even this to show you how it works. But again, I want to turn off my 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 snaps because if I have them on, what will happen is it will. And I could get close in there. It will grab that elevation, and we don't want that. So if it goes straight up to the top, then it causes an issue. So here's a shape out here. Just like I did here, I, I drew run one around the outside of this, as you can see, to cover that area that we want to clip out. But for the example, I'm going to use this just to show you it's the same thing. So you just place a shape out here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to this tool In the terrain modeling tools, if I can find the right tape uh, tool, it is the add features tool. So third set of tools down, second tool over, add features. So I'll do both of those shapes. What you do is you select the tool and then select the terrain model. So anywhere on the terrain model, you hover on it, you just select it. Now it says locate element to add. I'll do this one and I'll do that one. I don't know if it did both. Okay, it's got them both now. Once I've got them, then I can reset. And then use the the feature type of drape void. And that way it'll get rid of everything on the inside. Now, what's going to happen is I have a display rule turned on for the triangles, which it'll go back to the feature definition, which is boundary. So I'm going to accept this feature type. And you can see it went back to boundary. So I'm going to F4, it's done. Clear out my tool or hit the element selection tool. And we'll go back to my, my terrain and go to properties. And I'm going to turn on my triangles. And you'll notice that it clipped out wherever my, my shapes were. Now, the cool thing about this is when I rotate it, and I'll just pick some kind of point. Of course, you got to turn your snaps back on for that. So I grab a good place in there. Come on. And then now when I rotate it around, <laughs> you have to do a better job of clipping where I did. I was inside on that other one, but you can see how good it did. On this one, it didn't do too bad. It should clip straight down. Um, so what I would do on that shape over here is I would extend it out a little further so you got the inside uh, terrain to actually, um, I guess, uh, draw to. So that's that's a way to do this with the uh, with the terrain, and I could have went out further and got all this other stuff. I just was trying to throw something in there, kind of close and easy, or simply. You got any questions on this? Give me a yell.